Hello everyone. On this video, we are going to use PyScriber for Python 2.7 in order to do the following program. We are going to create one variable that will contain an integer number. Okay, remember this word int because it's going to be important. We are going to create another variable with a real number. Remember this word float. And we are going to add their values in order to store them to uh, store the result on another bar inside another variable, okay? And finally, we're going to print message with the two numbers and the result, okay? After we do this, we are going to do a couple of modifications. First of all, we are going to change the values, okay? To see that the message is going to change without changing the message itself, okay? And finally, we are going to change this to request the values of these two variables from the user instead of using fixed values. So let's go to PyScriptor. Okay, I've got a new file here. I'm going to remove this. Okay, my first number, okay, so num1, for example, is going to be an integer number. My second number is going to be a real number. How do I specify real numbers? By setting the decimal positions with a dot. Okay, I am going to add the results. How? Well, I'm going to create a new variable result, and inside this variable, I'm going to add the values of these two variables, okay? I can use different mathematical operations, I can, I can use parentheses, whichever I need. And finally, I'm going to create a message, okay? I'm going to print the addition of my first number and my second number, whichever are they, is some other thing, okay? And I am going to say that the thing that I want to see here is the first number. So here I write num1, comma. The thing that I want to be here, the second thing, is num2. So I write here num2. And finally, the third thing that I want to see in this third placeholder is the result. So, result. If I execute this, okay, I will see the addition of 45 and 87.98 is 132.98. Okay, what if I change the values? If I change the values here, for example, 4 in... 99.99. .99. If I execute this, the final message changes. Okay, we see that we have not changed this because the only thing that have changed are the values of the variables. Okay, what if I don't want to write here fixed values or I don't want to change the values every time I want to add two numbers? Okay, it can do the following it can do a row input write an integer number. Okay, we are going to request an integer number here and row input write a real number. So the second thing we want is a real number. If I execute this, you will see that we will have a problem. Okay, so write an integer number, 7, and write a real number, 7.5. Look at the result. The addition of 7 and 7.5 is 77.5. This is not okay. okay. Why is this happening? Because raw input always treats the input of the user, okay, the data that we have written, as a text. So this is concatenating the text 7 and the text 7.5. If we want to get some data from the user, and treat it like an integer number, we have to do the following. Int, and inside parentheses, our row input. This way, we are going to convert the row input's data to an integer. And if we want to convert some text to a real number, we are going to use the word float. This way, 
we request something from the user, and we are going to convert that to an integer number. Okay, on the second line, here, okay, I have, I have had a problem, but now it is corrected. <laughs> on the second line, uh, we are going to request a real number. This is really a text, but we convert it to a float, to a real number, okay? And now that I have done this, 7 and 7.5, and as expected, now the result is okay. So, if we want to request a text, we will just use row input. But if we want to request an integer number or, or a real number, we have to use row input this way or this other way. That's it.